How's it going everyone? So in this video we are continuing our HDB Academy module intro to network traffic analysis um, and we're in the second to last set of questions. Uh, this is called guided lab traffic analysis workflow um, and so we're still uh, working with Wireshark here. Um, so in this lesson uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download the resource required. So go to resources and you're going to download the guided analysis uh, lab resources. So go ahead and download that. Um, and so all that is, it's just a PCAP file, and we're going to analyze that with Wireshark. Um, so if you have Wireshark already installed, that is all you need to complete uh, this section. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to the questions. Um, before we jump to the first one, I initially thought that we had to spawn a target system, and we had to RDP to another host and start a capture like we did with the previous uh, section, the previous video. Uh, but that's not the case. Um, we just work with uh, the file already provided to us. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. So what was the first, or not first, what was the name of the new user created on MRB3N's host? All right, so go ahead and open up that file, and I have it opened up here in my Wireshark capture. Uh, so if you read the uh, instructions or documentation, they kind of walk you through some things to, to take a look at. Um, in the beginning. So one of the things is you can look at statistics. Um, so if you look at conversations here, you can see kind of what are the two, what are the endpoints being talked to? Um, and you can see here we have 35 packets total um, between this 43.4 and this 43.29. So that's probably going to be where we're going to be looking at, those two hosts. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and they also go to a uh, protocol hierarchy to see what protocols are being used here. Um, and this is a cool breakdown because they tell you, for instance, okay, TCP packets are 79.5% of the packets. Um, UDP, user datagram protocol, is only 11% of the packets. Um, address resolution protocol is 9.1% of the packets. Um, so we can see here TCP is 79%, 79.5. That's probably going to be what we're looking for. Um, but we can take a look at um, some of the other stuff, right? So we know TCP is the main thing, but let's take a look at um, UDP, um, UDP and RDP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, type in a filter and hit enter. Now this filter, the exclamation point and then TCP, that's just going to exclude everything TCP, right? So it's going to exclude that 79.5% of the packets. And now we're just focused on um, these bit of packets here. Um, so in the statistics, um, you know, we're focusing on, um, we're focused on everything not um, TCP, which is, or actually, you know what, this is actually using, so, as a quick tip, when you go to the statistics, um, it uses um, the packets that are on the screen here. So since I filtered, these numbers changed. So if I delete this filter and I go to statistics and I go to uh, protocol hierarchy, now you get more. Um, so that filter, not TCP, I'm basically filtering out 80% of the packets. And so we'll only look at 20% of the packets just to make sure that everything looks good. So let's go ahead and do that again. We're going to do exclamation, TCP, hit enter, and then let's just see what's going on. So we see some ARP requests, um, nothing really out of the ordinary. Um, and then we have some NAT requests, um, and, and nothing really looks out of the ordinary here, right? So now let's go to the bread and butter, right? So now we're going to look for TCP. There's two ways. You can do TCP here, and you can look for TCP packets. In the documentation, they go um, UDP and then um, ARP. So what they're doing is filter everything out um, or take out UDP and take out ARP and give me the rest. So um, this is kind of another way you can do it. Um, so let's see what's going on, right? So we see... Um, these two endpoints, 43.29, 43.4. Remember, when we looked at the statistics, um, we saw that those two endpoints were 
uh, most of the packets in here. So let's take a deeper dive. So remember from the previous videos, a TCP connection, right? we're looking at protocol TCP. Um, so there's a SYN, SYNAC, and an ACK to start a conversation, right? And look what we have. We have a SYN, we have a SYNAC, and we have an ACK. And now we have traffic being passed through it. So let's go ahead and right click and we're going to follow TCP stream. And that one popped up on my other window. So let me drag it over here. So now as we're looking at the whole TCP stream, here's what's going on. Um, so we have them saying, who am I? Which will give you um, the logged in user. IP config shows the IP information. But we're looking for the name of the new user created. So let's take a look. So if we scroll down here, we see net user. So that's a command for, you know, creating a user. And then the name is hacker and the password. And of course their password is password one and then slash add. So they're adding a user hacker with the password, password one. Um, so the answer there is hacker. So that's the first question. Second question is how many total packets were there in the guided analysis PCAP? Um, that's pretty easy to find. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Um, delete this filter, although I don't think you have to delete that filter. Um, so down here, it says packets 44, and that's gonna be the answer there. Um, so even though I did a display here, so if I did um, say not TCP for instance, so it still shows 44, but displayed shows nine. Um, so you're gonna get your packet counts down here. Um, so go ahead and clear that filter. Um, so yeah, packets is gonna be 44. And now it says, what was the suspicious port that was being used? And we see it's 4444. And let me go back. So I should have kept that filter up, but that's okay. This time we'll just use a TCP filter and I'll hit enter. Um, so you'll notice the connection um, is over 444 and you can see the 4444 numbers here. So this is what's being used, right? Um, and this is the destination port, right? So you have your source, right? So the source client, he's using a source port of 5612, but he's establishing a connection to the server, the 43.4 over 4444. Right, so that 4444 port is that suspicious port that's being used. The server, the host, whatever you wanna call it is listening on 4444. So when the client wants to connect to it over 4444, it responds and goes, sure, go ahead, connect me. Um, so 4444 is gonna be the answer to the last question. So there you go, guys. I hope that was um, not too bad. Um, definitely easier than the previous one since the previous one we had to RDP to another box and start a Wireshark capture. So this one was definitely easier. Um, I hope you guys found it helpful and useful. Um, if you did, please like the video, please subscribe, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and we'll talk to you guys later.